share another video with me, Bailey. This is Cosmos with Bailey, and I am a psychic medium and spiritual healer based in New Zealand. And today's video is going to be on the lower psychic realms and the internet and how this affects you and your spirit pathway. So I'm going to talk a little bit about psychic phenomena, what happens to your own psychic energy versus uh, scrolling on the internet and looking for answers, how someone else's confusion can create confusion in your spirit pathway and what you're experiencing, and why uh, it's very important, especially at this time, to really start stepping out of collective consciousness and what is going on in the collective energies and stepping out and living out your own spirit pathway and deciding for yourself about what you want to experience. It's very, very tempting to fall online and look at look up information. You know, I am on the internet speaking, but I would not say I'm a part of the collective consciousness. Um, it's very, almost like I think around, you know, when we had all those lockdowns, it, it was sort of, a lot of us were like trapped inside or had a lot of time on our hands and we probably spent maybe a little bit too much time on the internet. We were wondering what's going on, what should I do? And um, it's almost like we're coming out of this haze of uh, having the internet tell us what to do and how we should experience things. And I know on the spiritual pathway, it's very, very tempting. It can get very, very addictive to go looking up spiritual information online um, and not have the psychic discernment or the necessary uh, common sense to discern where someone else is coming from and um, where their spiritual information is coming from and if it's relevant to you and they could be on a completely different frequency to you so that oh yeah that's also frequency and the internet frequency and the internet and how it's really important to decipher for yourself if that information is for you or not Okay, so, yes, I actually had a dream about this, the lower psychic realms and the internet, and how you could be traveling down a pathway and get complete, and, and have very clear intuitions and a very set uh, feeling of where you're going, and you could hop onto the internet, maybe even mindless scrolling, or you're looking up information, or you've had an intuition or a thought, or oh, I'm not sure about this, maybe... It gets very addictive sometimes to just look up stuff on the internet because it's it's just there, it's easy, and it's just sort of how we have lived. And um, what can happen is you can go looking up information to clear your own confusion, but actually, um, and so you can gain some clarity, but actually you are adding more confusion to uh, what you've been thinking and feeling. So... There, obviously there is a big difference between confusion and clarity. And a lot of the times on the spiritual pathway or just living out our lives, we have many feelings that we don't know what we're doing. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I, why did I go do that? I don't know what I'm doing. And it, it's very easy to just go look things up on the internet. <laughs> or even just scrolling and you're seeing a, a snapshot of a quote that you really resonate with. But is it really for you and is it really a part of your spirit pathway? And so, and also when it comes to um, confusion versus clarity, we really, we really need to trust more in ourselves and our own process and allowing the insight and the answers to arise within us naturally. It's, and um, it is um, also a part of trusting in yourself and standing on your own two feet and not getting pulled into, I would say, collective chaos via the internet that is creating so much confusion because there is so much information out there. There are a lot of lost people um, that are very confused and a lot of the times people will put information out there that is coming from their own confusion and sense of loss. And sometimes what people tend to do is they will create businesses or uh, stuff that is trying to cover up a sense of not knowing what to do and they will go and put the energies into something that is maybe not quite what they should be doing or their own. It's really important to remember that everyone else is on their own spirit pathways too. 
Um, and so what can happen is you can sort of click into someone else's energy via the internet and think, and it looks like this person knows what they're doing. But um, in essence, behind, I would say, maybe the internet persona or the, the graphic design or whatever they are saying and doing is a lot of confusion, um, a lot of lost or lost energies, and, and you you can go into something via the internet and then pick up that confusion and a sense of disarray from someone else's um, things that they've put online. So that is the difference between confusion and clarity and why. And also there are many different realms um, psychically to the internet as well, you know. Everyone is, and I talk about this often on my channel, there are many different realms of, of um energies and people express through those realms on the internet so it's really important to decipher especially with spirituality um, what type of realm that person is coming from um, because it's very easy online to go looking up information and actually um, ingest something from someone else's confusion um, and have no idea that you've just gone and confused yourself further there is an incredible amount of chaos and confusion in the collective energies at the moment and it's very, very wise to step up and out of it and start creating your own energy, back, um, energy line. I talked about this in creating your own energy line in my Q&A um, and how you need to have very clear discerning boundaries and yeses and nos about what you want to experience and be aware of collective chaos and confusion that you, that you don't need to be a part of with your own unique spirit pathway. Yes, okay, so I just talked about that at collective consciousness and spiritual, yes, collective consciousness and spirituality. Um, so at the moment, there's a lot of information out there about spirituality. A lot of souls are awakening and, and, and having awakenings and going online. And a lot of the times what happens in the first rounds of awakening is that people become aware that there's something more and it's a, it's a first round of awakening and usually it takes quite a few years to mature into spiritual energies um, and it also depends on your own unique soul pathway and how you experience that awakening but um, a lot of the times in the first round of awakening you'll just awaken into more chaos and then people will go online and sort of uh, paint themselves as healers and guides when really they are very, very lost and confused. There's probably a lot of childhood teen trauma that hasn't been cleared. And a lot of the times um, in the collective consciousness, um, it, there's a lot of trauma that hasn't been processed. And in order to move out of the collective consciousness, you have to clear that trauma within you. Um, and a, a lot of the times with spirituality and the collective consciousness is people will use the idea of spirituality to make themselves feel more important and more special like they are these guiding lights for other people um, when they really need to go away and focus more on their own spirit pathways uh, when you can um, it's about yeah collective consciousness and spirituality and just sort of discerning with the psychic realms and the internet uh, whereabouts someone is coming from and if you should be listening to them and if they're going to create more distortion and confusion in your own clean and clear energy field so this is that stuff um, I've been dreaming about this I've had bits and pieces come through in my dreams um, especially a very vivid dream about how you can be whatever you like online and I started uh, dreaming of a lot of people that were talking about spirituality and had a lot of these uh, healing programs and I got shown that um, not everything is as it seems and this is a part of a part of spiritual maturation and um, discerning what is true and right for you in your unique spirit pathway. So I'm just going to talk a little about psychic energy and auras. This stands for all works of life, including the internet. It's very easy to click into someone's energy and then take on the energy without even realizing and you've created confusion within yourself energetically. This can be true for spiritual groupings or spiritual containers that you enter into. You really want to make sure if you're online, if you're going on a Zoom call with groups of people, you want to make sure that the person that's running that knows what they're doing and they're clean and clarified in themselves. As with anything on the internet, you use your discernment. Um, and um, 
Yes, and in auras, you don't know what's in someone else's aura. You don't know their spirit pathway. You don't know what they're experiencing right now, and you don't know why they're going online to speak about what they're speaking about um, and what their motivations are behind it. It's very easy on the internet to create a type of persona that's very different from how you're living out your life in the everyday world. So um, you really want to sort of tune into the energies and the auras before you tune into the, the image that's in front of you and maybe clean and clear and make some very clean and clear energies and make some very clear distinctions if this is for your spirit pathway or not. Um, and you just use some very clear, clear boundaries. And if it if it's if it's really for you at this point in time, and you are the person that's living out your spirit pathway, not someone else on the internet. It's very when we're feeling very lost and confused. It's very easy to go online or join groupings that make us feel a sense of belonging when really we need to spend some time with ourselves and uh, allow ourselves to be guided with spirit within. Um, what does mindless scrolling do to your psychic energy? Yes, so um, even for me, um, I had a lot of learning lessons with this and how energies can sort of jump into your aura from other people. And you may have little to no idea that you are actually experiencing someone else's chaos and disorder. <laughs> Simply just by looking at someone on someone's Instagram, scrolling, you're picking up lots of energies. Um, and it can sort of make you believe that you're confused, you don't know what you're doing when you've just picked up someone else's energies. You could have been feeling really clean, clarified and happy in the unknown and then you may hop online and all of a sudden feel like you have no idea what you're doing or people or so many people are doing this, so many people are doing that, I'm not doing anything and you sort of lost your uh, center a little bit in, in being comfortable and unknown and being self-guided. Um, and there's just, as I said, there's a lot of collective chaos that's playing out in the collective energy on the earth, and especially on the internet. And so you really need to decipher what, what is right and correct for you, your spirit pathway. You also have things like entities. Um, you don't know how much trauma someone is holding when they're talking about spirituality. You don't know if they've cleared their childhood trauma. You don't know if they've they've been psychically initiated to be talking on those subjects. It's very, very uh, tempting to, to, to use spirituality um, to uh, sort of not take care of yourself in the real everyday world. And it's a lot, of, it's very tempting um, to use the guise of spirituality. And this is, this is with the spiritual ego, but I'll do a separate video on that. Um, it's very tempting for many people to create a spiritual identity that um, that makes them that lives feel more special and important, and so they sort of neglect the everyday mundane, mundane reality. When really, it's all about living with your spirit in the physical realm, you know. So uh, yes, frequency and the internet. Yes, many different frequencies when you're scrolling, when you're online. You want to make sure that you're being really discerning and that you're not creating unnecessary <laughs> confusion and strife in your life and in your spirit pathway. Um, and you really want to be careful with who you're listening to online and the guidance that you're receiving from them. And if you feel deeply resonant with it and just really tune in and um, pick your information very wisely as well. And also if you're after a spiritual helping hand, to pick a guide or a healer or someone that you can um, and, and you so do so with wisdom. Um, yes. Okay. Do I have anything else to say about the lower? Yeah, lower psychic realm. So in the lower psychic realms on the internet, you get lots of things like trauma, dissociation, entities, uh, psychic interference, and um, that can come across into your clean and clear energy field. And um, as I said, there's many different realms and realities like on how we express. And if you follow my channel, I talk about many things. So I had an energy, that's another video I'm going to do, energy transference. Um, and um, yeah, you just don't know 
what's going on in someone else's energy body or aura. And it can, and there's just so much spiritual information out there that is coming from those lower psychic realms, but it looks like it's not. <laughs> and I talk, of course, I talk a lot on this channel about using your discernment and, and you know, it's very important, especially at this time, with the collapsing ties of the collective consciousness. Okay, I'm going to do a few more videos. Um, I'm going to upload them in a, in a concession type of thing. So I don't have anything else to say. Yeah, just be very discerning. You don't know what's in someone else's energy field. You don't know if that's creating more confusion and chaos for you in your spirit pathway. You could be receiving very clear directives um, and then you can go off. It's very easy to go off into something that you never needed to be a part of um, at this time. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yes, that was a little bit about the lower psychic realms and the internet.